how to select your country code from list of countries and then use it for various functionalities like phone authentication. So we'll start by adding country picker package in our Perspect YAML file. And now after it is added to our Flutter project, we can start designing our home screen. So let's create an app bar with the title country code picker and we will also put purple color as the background for our app bar. Now for our body of scaffold, we will have a container with padding from all the sides as 24, alignment as center and the child can be text form field. This field would be used for entering the phone number so let's provide decoration to it by filling light shade of purple in it and we will also remove all the initial padding. We can also provide hint text for this field and also we will provide black 38 as color for this hint text. For displaying the country code we will use the prefix icon property of text form field and let's create a container with a height 55 and width 100. The alignment would be center and we can display the phone code as text inside the container. Now let's import the country code picker and start adding the functionality to pick from the list of countries. We will create a country class and that value of country class will be provided by this country parser which will have parse country code parameter to take in which is for India as country code and return all the required detail for the country. Let's assign that in our text field with country.flag emoji and also country.phone code. We can also provide text style to this particular text field. Let's say it will be font weight bold. For the last customization of the text form field, we can start by providing a focus and enable border to it. And for these border, we will define properties as outline input border with a border radius of let's say 10 and the border side can be transparent. For more customization of this text form field, let's provide a cursor color. So this can be colors or purple. So inside this text form field, we have this on field submitted parameter where we can display a scaffold messenger to show the snack bar and the content of the snack bar will be the current phone code and the phone number that is entered by the user. If I click on this field, you can see the keyboard is not a numerical keyboard. So let's define the keyboard type also here. Finally, when anyone clicks on our prefix icon, we want to show the bottom sheet. So let's wrap a container with a gesture detector and inside that gesture detector, we will have on tab which can be show picker function. So we'll create this show picker function and inside that we will be calling our show country picker which is a function inside our package country picker and this will take values like context and on select so inside this on select this will return a country so we can just do set state and update the local country that we have with the latest value selected also for this country picker we can provide various customization so there is this parameter country list thing so let's say inside that parameter we will pass values like bottom sheet height then we can also assign background color border radius and at last, customizing the search field, providing a prefix icon and also providing a hint text. So you can see the select functionality is working here and this is done for the country picker. Other than this, we have the parameter to set the favorite country code and those favorite items will be appearing on the top of the list. So here you can see we have all of these values appearing here and we also have this parameter exclude country which will exclude the country if we pass the country code from that particular list. So let's say we pass CN that will exclude China from this particular list. If you ever confuse or have any trouble with finding your country code, you can just simply visit countrycode.org website where you will see a list of available country code. So this was one way of doing it with parse country code. Now let's say you want to take the country code automatically from the user location. In order to do that, we can pass HTTP request to a website and take the country code as a response from that website. So first of all, we will remove this parse country code parameter and we will create an empty country and here we will create fetch country code function which will be a future function with a written type of string so we need the help of our http package so let's add it in our prospect yaml file and now inside our fetch country code function we'll be taking the output of that http request in our response field so we'll be using this website ipapi.com slash json to get the current user data in json format and then take out the country code from it and i guess we have to also add the http package inside our main.dart file to remove this error we can just simply return an empty string this is happening because we have defined the return type as string for this function now as we have made country code nullable we will also need to have null check everywhere
also to prevent this exception to occur we need to check whether the country is equal equal to null then we will be only displaying a circular progress indicator and if the country is not equal to null which means we have got some information from the ipapi.com website and now we can set the country code so by that time we can display a circular progress indicator and else we can display a text form field so now inside our init state we will be calling our fetch country code function and see the output of our response here the json contains a key as country code and the value inside that is in which is from india as of now so you can extract these values and parse the code to our country parameter we will be using json.decode to get the response body and then from that response body we will store the country code in this country code final parameter and finally we will be returning this Now for the final part inside our init state we can use the set state property to set the local country parameter that we have with a country parser that we initially use in the starting of this tutorial and this country parser will parse the country code which will be the output that we get from the api so this is how you can integrate country picker